CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. I'm going to show you how to access your recorder that you purchased from us and change its monitor output resolution. The previous video shows you how to find the IP address of your DVR or NVR. Most recorders these days are set to DHCP, so the IP address would be anything suiting your network. So the first step is to open up um, Microsoft Edge in this case. And this process that I'm showing you will work with only newer DVRs and NVRs from 2021 forward. So I, my IP address is a little bit different than what yours might be. So again, follow what your IP address is. Put HTTPS in the beginning of it or HTTP, whatever it may be for your DVR. The best thing is just type in the IP address and then go there. If you get a screen like this, it says HTTPS on the top and it says your connection is private. The way you go past this is you type in this is unsafe and it will present you the NVR screen. I need to log into my DVR. So that's what you need to do as well. Type in your username and your password. Once you're in there, go to display. Should be here. If you don't see it on the first page, it would be on the second page. Every NVR is a little bit different depending on what features it has. Go to display. On here, make sure you select VGA plus HDMI and set it to the resolution that you'd like it to. Um, I'm gonna set a 1080p just to show this to you how, how it works and hit OK. And the DVR or NVR may reboot. You'll get this operation succeeded message. That means it's been set. If you wanna hit refresh, it'll tell you what it's set to. You can exit the menu and come back to it to verify it's been set to the resolution you'd like. Why do we make this video? Because a lot of times people get locked out of their DVR and VR and they know their IP address. You can simply follow this video to get to the recorder, type in its IP address, log in, and set its monitor resolution. This is 4K. If you don't have a 4K monitor, please don't set your DVR to that. You're just gonna get locked out. If you are locked out of your DVR or NVR and you can't see any of these screens in the video above that we uh, show you how to DHCP it, and you're gonna need to find the DVR on the network. Make sure it's connected to the main router and your computer is connected to the main router. If you're all on the same local network, as long as that's correct, then you can use our config tool to find the recorder on your network. And what I mean by find, finding its IP address. So open up a browser window and type this in. This is the URL you want to type in. To download our latest config tool. Once you type that in, you'll be presented with this screen to download the file from Google Drive. It may take a few seconds and um, you can hit the download button, hit download anyway, and let it click on open file. It usually downloads the download file folder here. Right click, extract all, hit extract, and then double click and install it. Make sure you select English as the language and hit OK. Hit Next. I agree. Install. I'm giving you a full overview of exactly what you will need to do to find the IP address of any of our DVRs or cameras. Hit Enjoy now and then the program will do, window will pop up and you'll have to use this to find the devices on your network. If you don't see anything, click on here. Depending on what your IP address scheme is, you'll need to put that in. Um, I'm just gonna leave it at, as this. You need to have a basic understanding of networking. If you don't understand what this is, then you should be purchasing a networking session for us to find the device on your network so we can set its resolution. If you get presented with this window, make sure you hit check boxes on both and hit allow access. If you don't, then this program will not work. So in my case, I have an NVR and some other devices on here, but this is the device, the NVR. This is my IP address. That's how I know what it is. You can find your recorder that you need to access, 
hit the web button and it will pop up in Internet Explorer. If it does this, you know, you can hit ask me later and depending on what version of Windows you have and whether you even have Internet Explorer, you know, you'll get all of this stuff happening. I suggest close out this. You basically type in the IP address right into your browser. So mine is 192.168.1.126. Hit enter and it'll present you with the login screen. That's how easy it is. If you're getting a blank screen here, that means one, you're not on the same network as the recorder that you're trying to access, or if you're following this video to find a camera, you're not on the same network, number one. Number two, there's a firewall on your network that's blocking this program for working, or there's a firewall on your computer. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.